Hello everyone, I'm Monica Rana. This is Imasha 365 and you're watching Hillquest to Sharan. Let's start with the headlines. Now landslide flash for deal blow to tourism in Dharamshala. Heavy rain warning at isolated places in Himachal Pradesh. Congress teachers walk out alleging backdoor appointments. Himura Kaloni House is on verge of collapse in Himachal Pradesh. India records 42,625 COVID cases and 562 deaths in a day. Lol Niva Borgohin signs off with boxing branch at Tokyo Olympics. 29 minister to be inducted into Karnataka Kevin and no deputy CMs at this time. Chief Minister Jairam Thakur said he cannot give benefit to staff under NPS. CGI recuses from hearing plea of Andhra Pradesh against Telangana or sharing of Krishna River waters. India has administered at least 480 million COVID vaccines till now. Now news in detail. Now landslide flash flood deal blow to tourism in Dharamshala. Landslides and floods that struck region last month have dealt a double blow to tourism industry in Dharamshala region. Most hotels in the region that were expecting the tourism to grow after the second wave of coronavirus are once again deserted and hoteliers were reeling under losses. Most of the hoteliers have once again started shedding staff rendering thousands of youth from the region jobless. Sources said that many hotel owners are not in a position to pay their bank installments and their accounts have turned non-performing assets NPA, making them ineligible for further credit from banks. Heavy rain warning at isolated places in Himachal Pradesh. With four more deaths in rain-related incidents in the past 24 hours, one each in Kagra, Solan, Sirmora and Una, the toll has increased to 218 in the current monsoon season. As many as 115 roads, including 42 in Mandi, 41 in Shimla and 12 in Kulu district are closed for vehicular traffic and 49 water supply schemes have been disrupted. Besides, 41 transformer have suffered damages. The local MIT office as they should yellow warning of heavy rain at isolated places in Unna, Chamba, Kangra, Solan and Sirmora on August 4, Chamba, Kangra and Sirmora on August 5 and Bilaspur, Hamirpur, Mandi, Shimla, Solan and Sirmora on August 7. The MIT office has predicted a bad spell till August 9. Congress teachers walk out alleging backdoor appointment. Accusing the BJP government of floating norms to make backdoor appointment, the Congress on Wednesday stacked a walkout in the Vidhan Sabha, demanding a white paper on the issue. Opposition members sought a debate under Rule 67 on the appointment being made by the government in violation of rules. Congress Legislature Party CLP leader Mukesh Agnihotri, along with Legislator Asha Kumari, Dhaniram Shandil, ID Lakhanpal, and Rajinder Rana shot a debate on the issue in response to the adjournment notice given by them to the speaker in the morning. Speaker Bipin Parma said the issue did not qualify for debate under Rule 67. Moreover, a debate had already been held on it in response to the question raised during question hour earlier. He said debate could be held on the issue under Rule 130 later for which a notice had already been given by a member. Himura Koloni House is on verge of collapse. A major landslide on the left bank of the Nugal has posed a serious threat to the existence of a part of a Himura Koloni, Vindravan. Six houses on the riverside can collapse at any time if timely action is not taken to save them. A large part of the vacant land adjoining the Koloni toward the Nugal is also sinking. A number of residents have been spending sleepless nights for the past two days since the sliding of the hill started. The residents said they had told Himuda officials to construct drains to check the soil erosion during rain. They said many buildings on the riverside had become unsafe because of continuous sliding. The Resident Welfare Association RWA has also taken up the issue with the local administration. India records 42,625 COVID cases and 562 deaths in a day. With 42,625 people testing positive for the coronavirus infection in a day, India's total tally of COVID cases rose to 3 crore 70 lakh 69,132 and the active caseload increased to 4 lakh 10,353, according to the data updated by the Union Health Ministry on Wednesday.
The debt toll claimed to 4,25,757 with 562 fatalities. The number of active cases increased to 4,10,353 and accounted for 1.29% of the total infection, while the national COVID recovery rate rose to 97.37%, the data showed. Lov Nila Borgohin signs off with boxing bronze at Tokyo Olympics. Indian boxer Lov Nila Borgohin in 69kg weight category signed off with the bronze medal in the Olympic Games after a comprehensive 0-5 loss to reigning world champion Bushen Nasur Meneli on Wednesday, bringing an end to the country's campaign in the sport. Up against quite literally a bully in the ring, Borgohin was completely outpunched by the gold medal favourite who produced a thoroughly dominating performance. The some boxer also copped a one-point deduction in the second round for not paying attention to the referee's instruction despite a couple of cautions. 29 Minister to be inducted into Karnataka cabinet, no deputy CMs to the side. Karnataka Chief Minister Vashwaraj Bhumai on Wednesday said 29 minister would be inducted into his new cabinet on Wednesday afternoon and there would be no deputy chief minister this time. He said former Chief Minister V.S. Yadurappa's youngest son and state BJP Vice President B.Y. Vijendra is not among the ministers who would be sworn in. I have held detailed discussion with the High Command in Delhi regarding the cabinet expansion. After the final round of discussion on Tuesday night, on Wednesday morning, the list was finalized. I have sent the list to the governor and spoken to him, Bhumai said. He said a total of 29 ministers would take oath and in the previous cabinet led by B.S. Yadurappa, there were three deputy chief ministers but this time there would be none as per the high command's directions. Chief Minister Jairam Thakur said cannot give a benefit to staff under NPS. Chief Minister Jairam Thakur said considering the financial crisis in the state, the government was not in a position to grant additional relief on death and disability to employees covered under the new pension scheme NPS. The benefit has already been granted to those employees but we are facing a financial crunch which has been aggravated by COVID. If the financial health improves, we will consider granting them the relief, he said. Jaram Thakur also said so far only Rajasthan, Uttarakhand and Assam had taken this decision. CGI recuses from hearing plea of Andhra Pradesh against Telangana on sharing of Krishna river waters. Chief Justice of India CGI NV Ramana on Wednesday recused himself from hearing the plea of Andhra Pradesh which alleged that Telangana has deprived it of its legitimate share of drinking and irrigation water from river Krishna. The bench, which also comprised Justice Surya Khan, took note to the submission of the council appearing for Andhra Pradesh that the state wanted ejection of the case by the Apex Court bench instead of opting for mediation. Then let the matter be listed before another bench, the CGI order. So this is all for this time. Stay connected and keep watching Hilkar Sivushana. Thank you.